Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will revisit the topic of owner versus stockholder versus shareholder. I also have a longer video that compares owners, shareholders and stockholders to stakeholders. I'm posting the link to the video here and in the description below. I teach financial accounting and when we go over the accounting equation, I often get a question from my students about whether there is any difference between the terms owner, stockholder, and shareholder. The accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity or assets equal liabilities plus stockholders or shareholders' equity. In the accounting equation, the words owner Stockholder and shareholder often mean the same, but some differences exist. First, let's look at the term equity from an accounting standpoint. The term equity in accounting means something of value. It also means ownership. Usually when looking at equity, we want to consider the value of something you have versus how much you owe. The difference is equity. The accounting equation represents the relationship between a business's assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. If we rearrange it, the owner's equity equals assets minus liabilities. Make sense? Good. Now let's look at the difference between the terms owner and shareholder. When referring to a corporation, the terms shareholder's equity and owner's equity mean the same. However, you will only see the term shareholder's equity on the corporation's balance sheet because all owners are shareholders of a corporation. A share is one unit of ownership interest in a corporation. Examples of shares are common or ordinary shares, and preferred shares. A stock is an equity instrument issued by a corporation. It is divided into shares, which then represent ownership. What is the difference between a share and a stock? Simply put, a stock is an equity instrument issued by a corporation. A corporation divides it into shares, which represent ownership. One person ownership of a corporation should also be listed as shareholders' equity since the person owns 100% of stock. If you refer to a sole proprietorship, the appropriate term is owner's equity, as there are no shareholders. How do the rules of debit and credit work for the owner's and shareholder's equity? Owners or shareholders' equity is increased by credit and decreased by debit. When referring to owners' equity, decreases or debits are called owners' draw, and increases or credits are called contributions. When referring to shareholders' equity, decreases or debits are called dividends, and increases or credits are called investments. If you would like to learn more about the rules of debit and credit, I'm posting the link to my video here and in the description below. Now, let's look at the terms shareholder versus stockholder. You might also see the term stockholder from time to time. What is the difference between a shareholder and a stockholder? Both terms mean the same. You can use either one when referring to company ownership. Both stockholders and shareholders are the owners of company shares, meaning they are usually part owners of a business. Stockholder means the holder of stock, which can be interpreted as inventory rather than shares. On the other hand, Shareholder means the holder of a share, which can only mean a share in a business. If you want to be precise, 
Shareholder may be the more technically accurate term since it only refers to company ownership. Shareholders or stockholders own shares in a corporation. As a shareholder, you may own one share or thousands of shares. In the past, corporations issued stock certificates denoting the number of shares you owned. In more recent years, most private corporations simply track who owns what number of shares. You may be the sole shareholder or one of thousands. In the United States, there are generally no restrictions on who can be a shareholder. A shareholder can be an individual, a partnership, an LLC, or another corporation, a US citizen, or a foreigner. The rights of a stockholder or shareholder are the same. They can vote for directors, be issued dividends, and be issued a share of any residual assets upon liquidation of a company. Stockholders or shareholders can also sell any shares owned, assuming the presence of a buyer. Shareholders may also be referred to as investors. For example, investing in Apple makes you both an investor and a shareholder. But the terms investor and shareholder refer to different relationships. A shareholder can be anyone who invests in a corporation that issues shares, either in a private or public company. On the other hand, an investor is anyone who takes an ownership interest in any type of venture, whether it is a corporation or other business structure. That's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe, hit that like button and ring the notification bell so you are notified when we release more videos like this. Visit my channel for more videos on financial and intermediate accounting. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all again in the next video.